Hello, everybody. Welcome to Half of War Breaks, Postpones, Hip Parade Box on a Saturday now. Um, next next Sunday's or next Friday's box will hopefully go off as planned. Um, I'll list that on eBay Sunday. Thank you very much. I was very surprised that um, that every spot sold um, on eBay. I know a couple of you guys grabbed a bunch of spots, so um, I can't expect that to happen every break, but. Um, let me see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like 12 of the 32 spots were basically the minimum, were like 50 cents more. So, I mean, that's that's probably going to be the norm. And then you got, you know, 20 of the spots um, were at a couple bidders at least. Um, I think on one, one spot was over 1650 was the Rangers, but um, pretty much everything in between like the – 13 and 1650 zone. So I mean I could I'm okay with that if that's to be the norm for our for our hip parade license box. We'll see. Next week that'll probably um decide if I should order a couple more. I know uh, there's no more series nine. Um we do have series ten, I believe, on the website on hip parades website from David Adams. I know Big Al, hopefully he was talking about getting a case of series ten. Um I don't I haven't heard haven't seen him live yet, so um, I'm not sure if that's in-house yet or if that's still on the way for him. I know he's had trouble. His, you know, eBay listings were taken down, so I know he's been doing Facebook, so um, it takes a bit to, to adjust on the fly and try to try to come up with a new game plan. But he, like I said, he has lots of um, full-size, you know, customers that come to his room, so um, but hockey is something that I know some people are interested in, but not as many over there. Here we're pretty much all hockey all time. You know, obviously my pick your player stuff is reloaded. Boxes are full. I did that this afternoon. Um, boxes 68 through 86, skipping number 83. You get over here, and the stacks are here. You know, three rows of six, so that's 18 boxes with 19 jerseys, one double jersey box. So. That's the game plan for tomorrow. Those spots are on eBay to be bid on now. I checked earlier. There was still about a dozen or so, I think, that didn't have a bid. Let me see what we're looking at now. Let me just check. I didn't check for a while, but 29 have a bid. So that means there's 17 with no bids yet. So I expect it to be possibly a couple um, unsolds, of course. And there's always Joe Saki, who I cannot list. And those will be listed tomorrow after the auctions end. Any unsolds for um, probably like a buck or two at the most off. And then, you know, we're going to do an auction for those. So, um, you know, I'd be, you can grab them for a buck or two off for the minimum, or you can bid on the sake spot. So um, that's usually our game plan with Sundays. Obviously, this is the first first break after the reload. So it's going to be up to, you know, a decent amount of boxes. We have uh, three, six, nine, we have 27 um, plus the the uh, 18 going in, so 45 boxes. So we'll get down to 43 after the two get picked on Sunday. But with 45 boxes, there are 47 seven spots because there's an old double jersey box and there's a new double jersey box. So those are there for your benefits. Um, I'm still trying to plan on some stuff for the holidays as we get closer. Obviously, we're only two weeks away now from Christmas. Everybody celebrates that. Um, we're in the middle of Hanukkah, if anybody celebrates that. Um, I know we got other holidays around in mid-December, but those are the two that the majority of people do. So I don't begrudge anybody that celebrates anything else. Um, but, yeah, definitely we want to want to give you back some stuff. You know, I definitely don't mind, you know, seeing what I have sitting around to give you guys. It's always good to get free. Free stuff is always good. I mean, for 99% of the time, <laughs> there are times when free stuff isn't good, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, um, you know, just a quickie tonight, you know, waiting for people to stop by. You know, I had to postpone this yesterday for some unfortunate medical news, but um, I'm good to go. You know, raring. like I said, um, I did the box reload today and shuffled them up and then renumbered them after a little bit. So I don't know what's in what. I mean, it's pretty much all new going to be all new to me which is part of the fun you know these boxes are cool because i don't even know what's in there we know headliners and some partial names but i have zero idea there's probably about 60 of jerseys in this series nine that 
I have no clue on because, you know, it could be the usual suspects from Damon Adams' day parade or if it's, you know, something from out of left field. But we'll see how it is. Like I said, I'm looking forward to both of these. Feeling good about both boxes. So, um, you know, I can't swear to Series 10 if I'm able to get some of those. But Series 10 has got a nice sell sheet too. So those should be fun, um, whether they're here or over at Big Al's for sure. You know, Big Al did his sixth um, box of his hip parade case yesterday on Facebook. So he is starting to adapt to not having eBay this week. I'm not sure if he's going to to try to re- rework his listing. So if they don't violate the eBay terms of agreement, um, I'm not sure what his plan is there. I haven't searched eBay and haven't talked to him in the last day or two. So, but um, yeah, definitely check out Big Al stuff. You know, if, you, if you're looking for football, especially, and he does do some hockey. So it's nice of him to start to, he likes to dabble in that. He's starting a nice collection of jerseys. So um, any of you guys that have come from there know the drill. Um, anybody that's new to me, like I said, we have a couple new names tonight. eBay does that, you know, bringing in people that are not familiar with, with our product, but they definitely bid on the hip rate stuff. But anybody that's new to new to, the, to me because of the hip rate box, definitely check out the Facebook page. Definitely check out my eBay listings for the Pick Your Player. I uh, hand select and you know make sure it's all quality licensed stuff in my boxes. Um, we have some pretty cool hits recently. A lot of Adidas you guys, you guys worked me through in the last dozen boxes. I think six or seven Adidas. So I did a pretty good job of restocking them. You know, so I like to. I mean, a lot of old boxes hit. So we have, um, like I said, looking at the wall there of twenty seven. We have two from the original run, two from the run after that, and then there's two groups of four, and then all the most recent reload, and then we're going to have 18 new boxes from the newest reload. So, uh, like I said, I mean, that's, if you're if you're new to me, definitely like the, the Facebook or the YouTube page, definitely check the YouTube or the Facebook page. Not on spam, I don't know what, you know, what Facebook does on our own, but definitely come by there, because <clears throat> we do two listings a week, as of right now, Tuesday and Thursday. Um, I post spot price previews Sunday night after we break and then um, or Monday the latest. And those are the same prices for both Facebook claims. They happen at 8 p.m. Eastern time both days um, by Facebook Facebook clock. So I don't do it manually. It's automatically posted. Um, many of vet- veterans know the drill. I mean, it goes up at 8. You guys start claiming one per nine and I read through the list and then we break Almost always that night, you know, we're able to fill out. But maybe a little slower with the with the reload. We may have to carry it over to to Wednesday on the Tuesday fill, and then into Friday on the Thursday fill. But that's not a problem. I'm flexible for both those nights. Um, the second um, license box will go up hopefully Sunday. I'll get that into the system, and that'll break next Friday. So we'll just do the one tonight. And then we'll do the second one next week. And I'm feeling good about both. So we'll roll. I mean, if anybody has a uh, reason to grab, one's number 60, I believe, and one's 35. So if somebody in the room has a preference for either of those two boxes, I do not. Um, I will definitely roll if anybody wants me to roll. Um, I know some of you guys are (laughs) anti-rolling. I know some of you guys are anti-claiming. Some of you guys are anti-randomizer. I said it's... You know, we're, we're, we're victims and we're, you know, we're, we're here, you know, we're, we suffer for all, from all the technologies that breakers must use. Um, I don't do, you know, there's no reason to do anything other than rolling the dice or using the randomizer. So, but if somebody here wants to say a box, that's the one we'll break. If not, I will roll the dice. We'll do one, two, three, top box, four, five, six, bottom box. But um, as we see people showing up, we said, just went live. I know some of you guys have stopped by. <clears throat> like I said, I apologize again. Nothing was far, far out of my control yesterday. Then. But I'm back here today, and I'm back here tomorrow. So um, anybody that wants to stop by for the breaks, uh, even if you're not buying spots, definitely swing by because the double box break is fun, especially with the reload in there. So that will be a blast. So like I said, we're 10 minutes in. You know, I mean, anybody else wants to come here is probably here already. And everybody else watches it at their leisure on YouTube. And the link will also be on the Facebook page. So um, I don't see anybody claiming a, a box, 35 or 60. So we will roll. Uh, I don't have a problem. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any spots. I try not to get spots in my breaks. Um, I would love to have these. Like I said, I would always look for 
officially licensed boxes when I was joining breaks myself, and nobody ever buys them. Like I said, the cost is not – it's a little cost prohibitive for breakers. Um, the profit margin is not there on the licensed boxes, but you guys did a good job grabbing everything. So it's it's it definitely makes me lean toward purchasing more of the Series 10. So but we'll see. We'll see how the second box goes. I'm not against – the birds are very active today. Uh, I'm not against buying more boxes, even if it's not much of a money winner. Um, but I like breaking them. I, I'm more, I have more fun breaking these than I do the regular hip rate because I, like I said, I'm spoiled. I do not like the customs. I know they they have a purpose. They're cheaper. They're easy to frame up. They look fine when they're in a frame if it's done well. Um, and they're cheap. Like I said, it's, you know, when you can purchase them on your own between – you know, 40, 50, 70, 80, up to a hundred dollars in the most on most of them. Um, it's, it's, it's effective. It's money maker for David Adams. You know, they put out a hundred box series pretty regularly with a couple of headliners and, you know, they fill it with the customs. And like I said, it's you know, definitely a money maker for them. And I mean, it, it's not bad money maker for us, but it's not a huge money maker. So I'd rather do the license. Like I said, if it's, if it's, I see the support from you guys, you know, I don't want somebody to have to buy, you know, 10 spots on the regular, but um, if we get enough people buying spots, you know, through the, you know, December, January, I will more than happy by the, by the license, license uh, boxes, but um, we'll see how they go. Like I said, get ready for this one. Let's do it. Nobody's got a preference. Box 60 is top box. 35 is bottom box. One, two, three, top box. Four, five, six, bottom box. Bottom box 35. See you later, Box 60. Here we go. We're doing Box 35. Like I said it's they, they, they got feel good. The license boxes definitely feel cooler than the regular upgrade. Like I've opened up enough of those, and I know the difference. These are licensed. Obviously, they have the associated license Series 9 tab on it. Same seal. Nothing different about that, but I don't feel it's a double but jersey. I think these are bonus boxes. And the licensed as well as the regular, we've hit. We got a bonus, bonus box. I've hit one in the past, but I definitely have seen bonus boxes come out on the regular. There's at least one. I guess there's one per case or one per series. So here we go. Good luck, everybody. I got the list of team names here. Everybody, I believe, is paid. So thank you very much. Let's get this going. Like I said, I apologize for the one day delay. Not normal for me, but. Definitely out of my control. So here we go. Box 35 it is. Out of 100. One seal line. Of course, two seal lines in the box. One seal line in the jerseys. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's show us something cool. The first of the Series 9 license for me. And the winner will be... Uh, very, very, very nice. In fact, somebody that's actually in one of my boxes right now. Different jersey. But how about that one? How about that? Number 15, and that is the Anaheim Ducks. Ryan Getzlaff Adidas. Fantastic. Really, really nice. Let's get that out of the wrapper. Fanatic COA. Very, very nice. It's like, it's like the old school duck bill. It's got the wing foot or the winged duck on the shoulder. And there it is. The ducks with the sea. Very nice. Fantastic. Really, really nice. Like I said, there is a, a Reebok. Gets off in one of my boxes. There we go. Fight strap. Ryan Getzlaff, number 15 for the Anaheim Ducks. There we go with the old school Anaheim Ducks silver season, 21st anniversary. Very, very, very nice. Hip parade did us right with that one. Very, very nice. Can't believe it. There we go. Fantastic. I said, feel good about these license boxes. So hopefully the second one is... Just as nice. Like I said, that was not a headliner. Um, I believe. I don't even know if he was on the partial checklist. Like I said, there's only 40 names on the Series 9 checklist. But 
that's that's pretty much as good as you get. Like I said, that would probably be a headliner in the regular if race series. They don't usually sneak in, you know, Getzlaff, Adidas, you know, and I'm Ducks jersey. So very, very nice. So congratulations. Let me see what we got there. Anaheim Ducks is Ryan Corella. Ryan Corella, welcome to Waffle Board Breaks. I think I definitely saw him um, in the – I think I sent him a message saying it was the later day, but he is definitely a new – I don't believe he's been in our breaks in the past. So he definitely is somebody that I would like to obviously come back for the pick your player stuff. Um, you don't need to chase the kids left unless you'd like to Reebok one as well, but that spot is on eBay right now. So if you're – you know, looking to add that to your collection as well. It's definitely worth checking that. But get slap. Here we go. I think he was a he was a pretty he's been a pretty popular spot in the in the pick your player stuff. So it's a really, really nice Adidas. So fantastic. Hip parade does us right. So hopefully the second box is as nice, if not nicer. Like I said, I couldn't ask for much more of that out of the first box. So congratulations to you, Ryan. Ryan C. So hopefully you a, are a return customer. I will get the second box up. Sunday to end next Friday. Um, like I said, I mean, definitely come back tomorrow. Anybody that's interested in checking out the double box break, or if you have spots you're bidding on on eBay, um, definitely be ready for the, the auction that goes up on Facebook after the spots end. If there's any unlisted, as well as Jusaki, I put, I put a listing on Facebook, a post with the, the minimum bids, as well as the the available spots. So look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. Thank you much. Enjoy the rest of the games tonight. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.